is a single line hose with a one gallon button emitter um, four per tree. Some people have micro sprinklers, some people have double line drip. This field, when they installed it long before I was here, um, they decided to just use the single line drip. Only really on one side of the tree. So when you have double line drip, you can get water over here now as well. Now, why do you want water over here? So when you're, when you're growing this tree and you're building roots on the tree, that's how I like to think of it, the roots are really only going to grow wherever you put the water. A micro sprinkler will wet this whole area. Yes, you put water over this whole area. However, now other things want to grow there. Major varieties of pistachios in production right now. Kerman is the oldest and, and um, there are slight problems with it for blanking percentage and it does use a little more water than say the Golden Hills or the Lost Hills varieties. Every fifth row, fifth tree, is a male. The male produces the pollen and as the wind blows, it blows that pollen over onto the females and then you get the seeds. There's four zones, they call it uh, zone one, two, three, four. I believe in zones two and three, you can start to stress the crop just a little without any effects on the, the nut crop. Pistachio crop, if memory serves me right, they use anywhere from three to three and a half acre feet of water. Um, and that, that's for, for, for the whole acre. Pistachios originated from, I believe, Iran and it has a very desert climate over there. They're a very hardy tree, very strong. They can take, uh, they have a little drought tolerance. However, they won't produce a large crop when they, when they take in, you know, drought mm -hmm. conditions. So we, we're starting to grow our tree. We've grafted it. We're, we've got these nice branches. It's about three, four years old. We've been pruning it. We've been training it. Ideally, what we're training it for is an auto harvest. So a machine comes up, um, and this machine has a head on it that grabs a hold of the trunk of the tree. Now, up above the head is a slanted board that will pretty much go from the middle of this tree on both sides. And then on the other side of the tree is another just slanted board, um, so you got two sides. He starts shaking the tree. The nuts fall off. They hit both of the sides. It comes down into the middle that rolls back into a macro bin. You have to train these trees in a way that makes harvest easier. So what I mean by that is you can't have this giant, really tall tree that's super big and wide and bushy because when the shaker comes in to shake that, you're not going to get off all your nuts because you're not getting enough force into the tree to actually pop them off. The